Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with my next video. And uh, in this one, I'm talking about miners and kind of their role in Clash of Clans moving forward because I've seen at least kind of a resurgence of them at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11, at least from my perspective in Genesis and kind of the Clash of Clans gameplay that I see. Uh, so it hasn't just been Town Hall 11, you're gonna see a Town Hall 11 replay, but it's worked great for me at Town Hall 10. Uh, I wish I could show some of my attacks, but they're mainly friendly challenge and I can't reveal the base. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna talk about miners and kind of how I think they're gonna play into the Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 war scene moving forward. Uh, we'll get to the replay in that in just a moment, but real quick, just wanna say uh, to you guys that uh, I apologize for kind of the lack of content uh, sort of that you've seen on the channel. Been a little scarce uh, to some extent and uh, it's because I've been busy. I just started an internship this week, uh, so that you know takes up some time. But as soon as things kind of smooth out a little bit more, uh, everything will return to normal. I should get that Q&A video finally out tomorrow. I know I've been talking about it for a while, but I guess you could still technically slip a question into this video if you, if you really wanted to, because I won't uh, get it out till tomorrow probably. But uh, also on my second channel, for the, those of you guys that watch that, I'm gonna do my best to get back to that. Get finally get another video on it. It's been a while, but just know that you know I'm doing my best, and uh, things are going to get a little uh, faster soon. So I really appreciate you guys, especially uh, for checking out my stream yesterday. I don't plan on streaming much. Uh, it's just an occasional thing. Felt like doing it yesterday to test out the stuff, but really I like YouTube a lot better because I can uh, make a video when I want, and you guys can watch it when you want. It fits into our schedules a lot better, I think, but. Regardless, we're taking a look at uh, Captain Cold on this attack, a Town Hall 11 attack, uh, from the uh, Hijack Clan uh, event we're doing, and I'll talk more about that in the recap I do for this. <clears throat> but uh, regardless, let's take a look at the attack and uh, talk about miners. So something you'll notice from this attack and pretty much any mass miner attack is that the power is then being healed up when they're underground. Because any other troop, when it's being targeted by an Inferno, uh, it can't be healed up. But when they, they go underground, even if they're within an Inferno Tower range, they drop aggro underground, yet they still get the benefit of spells. So they're going to get healed up for that period of time that they're underground. And uh, that can get them back up to full health, depending on how long it is. So that's really the key there. And uh, especially level 4 miners at Town Hall 11, but even level 2 miners at Town Hall 10, both very powerful. And... Uh, one thing that you might think for defense, which makes sense uh, against miners, is to put a lot of high HP buildings uh, down by your infernos. So the miners are going to get stuck on those HP buildings for a long period of time. They don't do a whole lot of damage. And in the meantime, the infernos can start to melt them away because they won't be able to duck underground and get healed because uh, it will take them so long to go between buildings. So that's kind of an obvious counter. But the problem with that is it opens up for bowlers and valks because... Uh, they do good in the clusters of buildings. The Valks do, you know, the splash damage, the boulders with that second uh, hit on their uh, rock they throw. So if you start crowding your infernos with high HP buildings, that brings back a whole lot of other stuff at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. So really, I think miners are kind of a balancer. Um, as we see uh, bases evolve to the extreme to defend against bowlers, uh, Valks a little bit, but mainly bowlers, uh, with the Infernos being so spread out and so isolated from all other defenses, that really opens it up for Miners. I think that's why I've had so much success is I'm attacking anti-bowler bases with Miners, and there are two different troops. Obviously the Giant Bomb, uh, like a double Giant Bomb set, is a good uh, defense against both combos, but I think moving forward Miners are going to be kind of a balancing factor at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11, keeping base builders honest, and uh, we see combos of Miners and Bowlers which uh, is awesome, taking apart pieces of the base that work well for each troop. So I think they're going to be a good little uh, combo, a nice uh, complement to uh, some of the other attacks. And also we're getting a resurgence of some air, uh, Laloon, uh, that kind of stuff a little bit too, some dragons. So Town Hall 10 is really looking bright moving forward. I wish I could talk about this more, but uh, just a quick video tonight, had a tough day. So uh, like I said, going to try to get back to it the usual uh, upload per day and uh, not much streaming uh, so sorry if you guys like my stream but maybe once every other month kind of a special occasion type thing uh, so yeah that's that 
uh, hopefully a Q&A tomorrow. But thanks for watching this one, and I hope you other Town Hall Tens are as excited as I am moving forward for Town Hall 10. It's going to be fun. All the different troop uh, compositions we're seeing. Town Hall 11 as well, a little bit, but mainly Town Hall 10. So thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Sector Turnout.